I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of racism and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under hate, liberty and injustice for the 1%. Hey guys, Dan here. Um, and I just wanted to share a few thoughts about Memorial Day, um, a time where Americans celebrate and the rest of the world, you know, cowers in fear. You know, afraid of a drone strike, um, or kids in cages, trying to sell, you know, candy to put in, you know, piñatas, and, you know, they just put them in cages. Is that freedom? Is that something to remember? And I know people are always these nasty conservatives who are like, let's go tell some troops, um, thank you for your service. But what I like to do, Justin, are you ready? Okay, yeah, we'll just... We'll, we'll start, we'll start um, at the Target store. But what me and Justin like to do on Memorial Day is um, to go to places like Target um, and go there and thank you for your service. Or write Brian Steltzer at CNN and say thank you for your service. You know, going to the true patriots like Omar, you know, that congresswoman. That's what a patriot looks like, America. That's a patriot. Thank you for your service, Omar. Um, and of course, on Memorial Day, um, sometimes, you know, we used to ride by, honk the horn next to like, you know, um, where, you know, statues where they honor soldiers, just kind of like Hobby Lobby sucks, you know, drive away real quick. Um, but today we'll probably do something different. We'll probably go like to Hobby Lobby. Um, speaking of the Hobby Lobby, guys, the first Memorial Day was like directly after the Civil War in the 1860s. Um, I guess the Southerners were trying to make apple butter, um, you know, scented like, you know, you know, colonialism and stuff. And the North and Abraham Lincoln was like, this is awful and we need to stop it. So I guess that's kind of like how the first Memorial Day started, you know. So now people, selfishly Americans, you know, go to the troops and say, thank you for your service. Thank you for using a drone to strike someone at a wedding. Thank you for your service. I read on the Huffington Post, interesting fact, that 98% um, of active duty military have been arrested um, for domestic violence. Spoiler alert, America was never great. So, and I guess this could be something new, Justin. Here goes. Y'all guys need to do this with me. <clears throat> and you could do this to any minority or foreigner. I like to go to the 7-Eleven. And you look them in the eye and you say, I'm sorry that I hurt you as an American. I'm sorry that I hurt you as an American. Maybe now Memorial Day will mean something. We love you, Obama. Resist.